really quick, Mansa Musa is still to this day the wealthiest person to ever walk this planet, right? Because we're more than a trend. We've been doing this for hundreds, thousands of years. Black wealth is nothing new. So Mansa Musa, he inherited the land of Mali, the kingdom of Mali, from his uncle, Mansa Abu Bakar. Abu Bakar, he left Mali, he was an explorer, he was like, you know what? That ocean looks cool. But I feel like there's something at the end of that ocean. Right? He was in Africa, he was like, I just, I gotta see what's up with that. So he left on a boat with 300 boats all full of gold. He just hit the ocean, had no idea where he was going. In the middle of the ocean, there's this Atlantic current, and it takes you, and everyone thought it was a river. And everyone thought they had disappeared. One boat came back, and they're like, they're gone. I don't know where Bukhari is. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so Mansa Musa, he took over the kingdom. But legend says that that river, that current, goes all the way to South America. And have y'all seen, like, the pyramids and the Olmecs? And, like, there's a real yeah. African kind of culture in South America. The legend says that Mansa Bukhari landed there and built another empire in South America. Okay? But to Mansa Musa... He built up the kingdom of Mali in 1312, and he really was known for modernizing. Right, have y'all heard of Timbuktu? Mm -hmm. He was able to really build up the temples of Timbuktu and build trail, trade routes all throughout western Ghana, Mali, Senegal, Gao, Timbuktu, and the western hemisphere, the western side of Africa. Right? So he really literally put Africa on the map because now people from Europe, from China, from the Middle East, they were all coming to Ghana, all coming to Mali to do trade, to get silk, to get gold, to get salt, all that stuff, okay? So again, one of the wealthiest or the wealthiest person to ever walk this planet worth over $400 billion. And that's just the gold. That's not the art, that's not the fashion, that's not the land, the real estate, that's just gold, $400 billion. What happened one generation after Mons Musa died? The kingdom of Mali fell. See, slavery, I hear murmur as well. I'll, I'll give it to you. All his wealth was gone. Within one generation, all his wealth no longer belonged to his family because he did not have a plan to pass down that wealth. Right? Have y'all heard of trusts? Have you heard of wills? Right? You need a plan for your wealth. Your grandma, your parents, they need a plan for your wealth. That way you don't have to go to probate court to get the house you grew up in.